Hi, I'm Dan with Intermatic's technical support team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to program an Intermatic ST01C timer for a fixed schedule. Let's get started programming the timer. We'll need to open the door that covers the buttons. The first thing we'll need to do is reset the timer completely. In order to do so, you'll need to press and hold the on-off button. While holding the on-off button, use a paper clip to press the reset button for three seconds. Release the reset and continue to hold the on off an additional three seconds. Now that the timer is completely reset, we can begin the programming. We'll use the mode button until we see setup on the display. Press the on off button to enter the setup menu and the hour will be flashing. We'll use the plus or minus key to set our current hour. Once you have the hour selected, press the on-off button, that will move you to the minutes portion. Use the plus or minus key to set your current minutes. Once your minutes are selected, you can press the on-off button, that will move you to the year section. Again, we'll use the plus or minus key to set it to your current year. Once the year is selected, press the on-off button, which will move you to the month. You can use the plus or minus keys to set your current month. Once you have the month selected, press the on off button, that will move you to the date. Again, you can use the plus or minus keys to set your current date. Once the date is selected, press the on off button and it will display the day. Today is Thursday, so we know that we have the year and the month program correctly. If it does not display your current day, you will want to repeat these steps and make sure that the year and month is set correctly. We'll press the on off button, that'll show auto DST. If you use daylight savings time, you will want to select auto. If you do not use daylight savings time where you live, you can use the plus or minus key to select manual. Once you have selected your DST settings, press the on off button, that'll move you to the zone. Since we're programming a fixed schedule, we do not need to set the zone, so we'll press the mode button which will display PGM on the screen for program. We'll press the on off button to enter the program setting and you'll notice a 01 is flashing. That's your first event. Event 01 is going to be an on setting so we'll press the on off button and notice that on is flashing. It's telling us that we're making an on setting. Press the on off button that'll move you to dusk flashing. We want the timer to turn on at a fixed time so we're going to use the plus or minus key until we have a time flashing in the screen. Once you have a time flashing in the screen, you can press the on off button and the hour will flash. We'll use the plus or minus keys to set the hour that you want the timer to turn on. In this case, I'm going to select 5 p.m. I have 5 p.m. flashing, so I'll press the on off button and the minutes will flash. At this point, you could use the plus or minus key to adjust the minutes that you want it to turn on at. Press the on off button and you'll notice that all is flashing. I want it to turn on at 5 p.m. all the days of the week, so I'm going to select all. Press the on off button, that will save the information, and the 01 will flash. Now that I have my on setting programmed, I'll need to move to event 02 using the plus key so I can program my off event. Now O2 is flashing, I'll press the on off button and off will flash in the screen, telling me that I'm programming an off event. Press the on off button and you'll notice dawn flashes. I want this to turn off at 10 p.m. so I'm going to use the plus key until I see a time flashing. Once you have a time flashing, press the on off button and the hour will flash. We'll use the plus or minus key to set it to 10 p.m. Now that I have 10 flashing, I'll press the on off button and my minutes flash. You can use the plus or minus key to adjust the minutes if you like. Press the on off button and we'll notice that all is flashing for all the days of the week. We'll press the on off button once more, the timer will save, and then the O2 will flash. We're now done programming both our fixed events, O1 for our on and O2 for our off. 
So now we just need to press the mode button to display auto. That concludes programming the timer, so we'll shut the door. When you shut the door to the timer, you may turn your lights on, so you may need to press the door once more to turn your lights back off. This concludes the programming of an ST01C in a fixed schedule. For additional information about our products, please visit us online at www.intermatic.com.